Kittens are incredibly cute, but people generally only want the perfect looking felines to be their pets, which is why this kitten who was born with a strange condition was brought to a shelter to be euthanized. What happened next though is very astonishing. In the world, it is thought that there are over 200 million people who own a pet cat. This love for the feline animal is only growing year after year, with many people wanting their own feline friend to keep them company. Lots of people like to raise their pets from babies, as they are easier to train and to create a bond with than adult animals. Cats especially can be quite difficult to form strong connections with due to their sometimes aloof and detached behavior. Sadly for one little kitten back in 2014 though, she was immediately taken to the vets to be euthanized due to a condition that she was born with. The kitten, whom the staff named Kanga Roo, it's easy to understand why, was just four weeks old when she was taken into a vet clinic in far northern California to be euthanized. There was nothing wrong with the small cat health-wise, and she was just as noisy and demanding for food and attention as any of her brothers or sisters would have been. The only thing that made Kanga different was the fact that she had been born with a genetic condition called radial agenesis. The term squitten is generally used to refer to cats with the condition radial agenesis, which is when the radius bones in a kitten's front two legs fail to form or develop, leading to stunted forelegs. Squitten is a term that lots of people use for these types of cats as their underdeveloped legs end up making the animals look almost squirrel-like. Although a T-Rex is probably a more appropriate comparison considering how chaotic cats can be sometimes. Seeing that there was nothing wrong with the kitten health-wise, staff at the veterinary practice were reluctant to put the animal to sleep as the feline herself was seemingly happy and in no pain or discomfort at all. In fact, even at just four weeks old, Kanga was already developing quite the personality which staff simply fell in love with. They just couldn't find it within themselves to put such an adorable and spirited animal down. The only problem was that there was no space for the kitten to stay at the vets as they already had their hands full with other animals. And the staff were reluctant to take Kanga to a shelter as it was likely she'd be put down there or simply not adopted. Only being four weeks old and weighing only one pound or .45 kilograms, Kanga needed special care to ensure that she grew up healthy. Usually kittens aren't weaned off of their mother until they are roughly six to eight weeks old. This meant that technically, Kanga should have been feeding off of her mama for at least another two weeks before she was able to have solid food. With that option out of the window, though, staff at the vets would have to think of another way to get the kitten the care she needed. Luckily, one of the shelter's staff, a woman called Cheryl, decided that she wanted to help the special little feline out. The woman decided to contact the Saving Grace Rescue in San Francisco, hoping that they would be able to take the kitten in and give her the care she needed. The Saving Grace Rescue is a special shelter which takes in cats with special conditions and helps nurse them back to health and find forever homes for them. It was first founded by Amber Holly. She had fostered a kitten called Grace while she was in college, but it was only after getting the cat that Amber discovered Grace had cerebellar hypoplasia, which caused the animal to wobble around when she walked. Amber was shocked to find out kittens with this condition were often euthanized at shelters. Grace lived with Amber for 17 years and was all the encouragement the young woman needed to set up her rescue for special needs cats. Thankfully, the shelter was more than happy to take the kitten in. They had helped other cats who had the same condition before, so looking after Kanga was something they were well equipped to deal with. Once the kitten was safely in her new temporary home, she settled in quite quickly. At first, Kanga needed constant feeding around the clock, much like she would if she was still with her mother. A member of the shelter staff would stay with the young kitten and give her all of the food that she needed. As the weeks went by, Kanga began to grow in strength and size. The young cat also began to develop quite a boisterous personality. She would meow at all of the shelter staff, demanding their attention. She would also purposefully encourage the staff to give her lots of cuddles and love as she was a very affectionate kitten. She loved to have her head rubbed and her belly scratched, although just like any other cat and like a lot of cat owners probably know, she would be sure to let you know when she had had enough. 
Due to her condition, lots of people would overlook Kanga when searching for their new pet. They wanted an animal that was easy to take care of, not one that would cause them stress with its genetic conditions. The weeks passed by and Kanga was slowly but surely growing into a beautiful tabby cat. Luckily, it wasn't too much longer before her chance at a new forever home finally arrived. Joyce and her family learned about Kanga's story and immediately offered to adopt her. We saw a video of her and fell in love. Because she was a petite girl, it took a few more weeks to reach 2 pounds, or 0.9 kilograms, the weight necessary for spaying surgery, Joyce said. The surgery was to remove Kanga's two front legs simply for safety reasons. While the useless appendages weren't a bother for the feline, they could accidentally get caught on things and cut or injured in some way. By removing the limbs, there would be no risk of accidental injuries for the cat. The surgery was a great success, and Kanga was soon allowed to go to her new home. But it was what happened next which was astonishing. As Kanga settled into her home, she began to come up with a new way to get around the house. Because she couldn't use her two front legs to walk, she began to simply hop around on her back legs instead, like a kangaroo. The young cat quickly fit in with the rest of Joyce's furry friends. All of the other cats and dogs fell in love with the little kitten, and she felt exactly the same way. Skittles, Joyce's older cat, took to Kanga instantly and became like her big sister, showing the smaller feline all the tricks she would need to know in order to get her new owner to shower her with love and treats. But Kanga wasn't the only hopping kitty that Joyce and her family took on. When Kanga turned one year old, they discovered that the sweet kitty had a soft spot for kittens in need herself. Joyce started bringing home foster kittens in May 2015, and Kanga fell in love with their first foster, Hector. From that day on, she became the foster mom for their rescue kittens. Kangaroo, the protector, was in full mama mode, said Joyce. The young cat would constantly make sure that her kittens were safe and healthy. She even took a shine to a foster kitten called Baby Alealani, who had been born with the exact same condition as Kanga. Safe to say that Alealani quickly picked up her new mentor's tricks, with the most noticeable one being how to get around by kangarooing. This story just goes to show that no matter what, as long as there are people who believe in you and are willing to support you through thick and thin, you can achieve absolutely anything you set your mind to just like Kanga. What a sweet story, and isn't it great that Kanga found her forever home thanks to the shelter? Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with brand new videos. And if you can't wait until then, just head on over to my channel where you'll find many more incredible videos. See you next time.